Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode for Trade of the Day. And for today's Trade of the Day, I will be looking at the Kiwi franc. Now we know that the uh, Kiwi, like the Aussie dollar, has been very bullish recently. So I just want to see how the Kiwi franc will actually, uh, how the Kiwi will actually perform against the franc. So what I have here is the Kiwi franc on the daily chart. All right, on the daily chart, I want to focus on the recent price action. Now it seems like price pushed higher, came back down, and sort of slowly drifting upwards. All right. Interestingly, if we were to change the line chart, okay, we can actually connect the lows and draw a very nice trend line, something like that. Now let's go back to candlestick, and we can adjust accordingly. Okay, so it's okay to cut the wicks, but not the candle bodies. Okay, so from here on the daily, it looks um like the the kiwi franc is actually going to push higher. And at least it will push higher. If we were to reference left, it will push higher towards the recent swing high, right? So I'm gonna put the daily resistance over there, okay? And the uh, distance from where price currently is to over there is about a nice, nearly a 95 pips. Okay, so let's see whether we can capture that 95 pips. All right, and of course, um, I want to do a retracement of the low to where price currently reached the high, open all Fibonacci ratios, just to look for nice support on the daily. So I'm going to zoom in, and on the daily, uh, the, the support that I'm looking at will be the 38. Okay, why I'm choosing this 38? Okay, it's very simply because should price break below this trend line and close below the 38 it will mean that this bullish idea is invalidated all right so we have the daily resistance daily support let's go down to the four hours so even on the four hours okay i'm just going to view it like that even on the four hours it will tidy things up a bit if i were to ignore this trend line and just draw yet another trend line and tidy things up a bit we have a nicer yet steeper trend line so i'll just Remove this. I want to take the trend line closer to prices. Okay, and we see two movements, two price movements. One is price doing this zigzag, right, pushing up. Another one is price making a push up here, so we can use a retracement of this last movement. So let's do just that. One extension, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Open all Fibonacci ratios. Okay. And we see that a 161.8 is in line with the last swing high. Okay, so we can definitely keep the 161.8. All right, and let's use the retracement from the low to the high. Open all Fibonacci ratios. And again, we see that the 78.6 is in line with the daily 38.2. At the same time, the 50% is actually in line with the trend line. Okay, so we're going to keep the 50% and the 78.6, something like that, right? So we, so we actually have, okay, we actually have this, okay, give me a moment. Okay, we actually have another support level here, all right, on the intraday basis. So what I'll do is I'll actually wait for price to come back down to test this ascending trend line and uh, 50% before going long. Alright, I just want to find whether there are any intermediate targets here. So I'm going to open up a negative 27.2. Okay, so that's one intermediate target over there. Okay, so let's just put things in line. Okay, and this is how I would play it. Alright, so we have the final daily target, the uh, intermediate take profit. Alright, this will be the partial take profit. Okay, and of course this daily target, the last swing high will be the final take profit. This level will be my buy entry. And of course the, this level here that we found on the daily, the daily support will be the stop loss. So this makes for a very, very nice risk reward trade. Okay. If the entry is here and the final take profit is here and the stop loss is over here, this makes uh, the trade about 4.7 so one is to 4.7 so for every one dollar you're risking you there's a chance that you earn four dollars seventy cents on it all right so uh this is a very nice trade lastly i want to just compare with indicators and we see that macd is above zero so price is definitely in bullish territory and let me just change the 
exponential moving average to a nice number, say 34, we see that price is holding above 34. And in the past, when price was above 34, the 34 moving average actually holds price very nicely. Okay, so we can expect the same here as well. Alright, so thanks everyone for tuning in to today's analysis of the Kiwi Frank. Uh, wish you guys all the best. Hope you guys have learned something today. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you.